don't, don't, don't call me Superman. If you haven't found my crypto. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cobbs 360 here. And I know a lot of you guys are probably asking, Cobbs, bro, where you at? Where you been these days? So, pretty much, guys, I've had my trial HSC exams, which is pretty much the biggest, like, trial tests of my life. They count to a big percentage of my overall assessment mark of this year. And in about three months, I have my actual HSC. So, I've really had time to do this. But, uh, anyway, look, getting to the point. Let's get straight into it. You see, EVGA has pretty much come out and they've put an end to the silicon lottery in a way when we talk about GPUs and GPU bidding and whatnot. And this is the introduction with you know the new 980 Ti Kingpin series. So pretty much look. EVGA is giving you the chance or opportunity to buy your kingpin based purely on its overclock, uh, its overclocking ability, pretty much, and uh, that is essentially called ASIC. That stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit, and it's a general term, pretty much, used to describe a processor designed for a specific tasks. So, pretty much, long story short, bullshit aside, essentially, you can choose how. Uh, how likely or how good your GPU will be able to overclock. I mean, look, EVGA even says themselves, we are not actually like guaranteeing you that this card is going to be good. It's just that it's going to be, uh, it's more likely that the card will perform at a higher like, like overclock speed than another card. It'll be more stable at higher speeds. It'll overall, it'll be a better overclocker. Now, of course, if you really want to talk about pricing, I mean, whoa, if you want to talk about 72% ASIC, so pretty much, uh, you know, you're kind of like, it's your, it's your lower end kind of overclockability. Uh, that starts at $850, and you get to 74%, that's $899, 76%, $999 US dollars, 1K. And then if you want 80% ASIC or above that, $1,049. Now, of course, when I say 72, 74, 76, it's 72% plus. They obviously can't, like, say, look, it's going to be 72 flat. It'll be 72 or above that. So, you're pretty much binning cards and you're selling binned cards. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I've never seen something like this before. It's, it's quite interesting, to be honest. I mean, look, guys, my 7870 has an ASIC of 84.3%. I just checked it on GPU Z. It's, it's pretty insane. So, I mean, look, the difference between 80, 80% and 72% here is $200. I mean, that is a lot of money. And I mean, I guess for the standard consumer, it wouldn't really make sense to like go balls to the walls like that. It's unnecessary. But at the same time, if you're buying a Kingpin card, I'm sure you're more than just a standard consumer. You want that performance. You want everything. You want to be able to overclock the shit out of that card. So, I don't know. Look, guys, comment down below what you think. I mean, it really is something that's quite interesting. We've never seen anything like this before. Where pretty much you're buying pre-binned cards. You're buying, like, cards that you know are going to be good overclockers. So, look... I don't know, guys. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.